I'm here today with Danny, Antonio, and Ricardo, and I want to thank you guys so much for interviewing with me today. Thank you. If, thank you. Yeah, thank if we could here. start out with you introducing yourself, your character, and then a little bit about your character. Yeah, uh, I'm Ricky. No, actually. <laughs> <laughs> You're Ricky, right? I forgot. <laughs> He's Ricky. He's Ricky. He's Ricky. <laughs> I don't remember something. I am, I'm like, yes, Simply so. confusion. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Were we real names here? Okay, I'm Danny. It's Tony. Antonio. Antonio. Ricardo. Ricardo. Um, Danny Roy, I play Christian Santos. And Antonio plays Ricky Santos. And Ricardo Arranz plays Guillermo Santos Jr. So tell me a little bit about your characters. Left to right. He's the oldest brother, so he's just Yeah, he you gotta go again. first. Okay, <laughs> I'm the oldest of three. I'm supposed to be a very hotshot lawyer of the West Coast, uh, a member of this family that's very powerful economically and politically, called the Santos family, whose patriarch is Eric Estrada, our father Guillermo Santos Sr. He had an affair with a, a lover he had, a black woman, and had a half black, half Hispanic uh, son. His character. Yeah, so I am the, the, the bastard child. <laughs> yeah. The second oldest, the bastard child, and as you can see, obviously the most charming and best. <laughs> um, very modest. <laughs> yeah, very modest. <laughs> you can tell why I actually yeah, yeah, yeah. love you so much, you know? Yeah, yeah, actually, so what happened was once our father discovered me. He took care of my mother and myself for a while, but he, we still lived to, in the ghetto. But he kept, you know, and then through circumstances, she got murdered. Mm. And being the good person, because essentially down, he's a very, he felt guilty. He adopted me and brought me in from the streets, basically into this whole wealthy lifestyle. Mm. A little bit like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Gotcha. Except. Unlike Will Smith, I wasn't so happy to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I was more um, yeah. trying to figure out how can I make this work for me in the mm. streets. Yeah. So even though I was I had one leg in the wealthy, you know, sophisticated Santos family, yeah, and I was out. I was out in the streets, and sure. then I developed um, because of both of those things. I became a pretty good combination of both. So I had my former gang was now looking at me in a whole different light. Mm. And I was getting people from that side to look at me like, wow, I want to be like that guy. Mm. So I basically started running things and I found that I had a back of leadership. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> my mind veered towards criminal activities rather than good activities. Right. So it pissed off my younger brother. Which is... Among other things, which is... Yeah. Uh, a... I, I, I keep saying this. Did we even say the name of the show yet, though? Sangre Sangre Negra. Negra. Oh, sorry yeah. about that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's okay. If you were going, are they talking about themselves? Like, yeah. Is it really against it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The criminal speaks so highly of himself. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, yeah, so uh, Sangre Negra, I play the youngest character. My name is Christian Santos, and I'm uh, a, a detective, I'm a cop. Um, what I always talk about with, with, uh, with, with Tony here and Ricardo is, it's very easy to say, you know, good guy, bad guy, good guy, but he doesn't believe he's a bad guy. He really does believe in what he's doing and maybe he has a, a different opinion because of how he was raised. But I feel, in my, my character, I don't like him for some reason, but it's more than just not liking him because he is, quote unquote, a bad guy and I'm a cop and my job is to arrest him. I know that there's something deeper that goes on there. Maybe... We haven't explored it yet, but that's the beauty of doing a series. You can explore this character. Sure. I'm, in my opinion, I know I must have looked up to him. I see this guy. He's coming in. I'm young. I'm seeing the older brother here doing great. I'm like, I gotta look up to that expectation. I see him. He's got girls he's talking to. He seems cool. He seems like he's people. Uh, he doesn't take you know crap from anyone. But something happened that made me now want to go. I need to arrest him, and I want to arrest him, and it makes me happy to do that. Like I don't like him, mm. and even to the point where he. Uh, is with a beautiful woman as a child. Mm -hmm. That doesn't work out because he has so many women. Mm -hmm. And I scoop in and 
know, I'm engaged yeah. to that same woman. I'm raising this kid. Ah. Uh, so there's a lot so of that's drama. That even makes it even more of yeah. a conflict. So now there's conflict with us here. So we, we haven't explored it yet, but doing my own homework, trying to figure out why this is happening. I mean, it, makes, it wakes me up in the morning to go, why is he like this? I want to figure it out. Right. We've talked about this for future scripts and whatnot, why this is happening. So I arrest him, and he hires my brother to be uh, him. So uh, well, well, why not? Well, well, they're <laughs> trying to figure out their psychological profile. I'm trying to keep the balance between the <laughs> right. right. Basically, yeah. right. trying to keep one out of jail and the other one from killing him. Right. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Pretty much. Well so I want to play a little bit on what you said about you know thinking about the development of that and and the psyche behind your character. Um, do you know a lot about what's to come with your character? Or is there a lot of creativity that can happen and involve because now you guys are in that role? You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes with, with creators and directors, they'll, they'll be really strict with the script. And others will let you be really creative and they'll see something, like they'll see something that Danny's doing as his character and be like, oh, so now that we have that, we can kind of play on this a little bit. Yeah, Tony's the writer. He's the writer of the show. I, I kind of have it up on them because I kind of do know. Because you know. <laughs> yeah, do you, you share that? No. 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 But, but you did make a good point. I do notice the way he does things, and I do gear the character mm -hmm. towards that and same with him. So the character is actually, he is now the character. Right. See what I mean? And mm -hmm. that's what I think makes a good, good series when the character and the actor are sort of blend and become one. But we also had two years to work on yeah, this. Yeah. I mean, two years for Ricardo to develop, for you to develop, and me. I had what we thought day one we were going to do, and now two years later, yeah. it's, it's become this whole organic thing here. Right. Yeah. You know, um, I didn't know how the stuff I was going to be doing until. I get the script, and I try not. To, I, I want to know what's going on, but I don't want to know too much because right. I love when I get the page and I'm going. You can react. Oh, okay. This, okay. But we have conversations right. about where we think we're going, and we, and we kind of flesh it out. Right. It's kind of important. Right. So tell me a little bit about the show. We talked a little bit about your characters in general. How would you describe? And we talked about it being a drama. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sort of like a, a what we call a crime drama. Because okay. we always like to say it's a mixture between The Sopranos and Dallas or Dynasty, and, mm -hmm. but with a Latin flavor. Mm -hmm. Latin twist. Mm -hmm. And the main difference, at least to me, I don't know about them, but I'm pretty sure, is that we put the, the Latin characters in front. Mm -hmm. so, so often in these big shows, the, you, if you do have a Latin character, you may have one guy right. who plays cool guy or, <laughs> right. you know, or secondary so, so so second, it's, talking best friend. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. talking best friend. Right. It's the secondary characters, which is fine if you had everything. We don't get everything. We just get secondary characters. Right. Mm -hmm. So now we've sort of flipped it. You know, the, the, the main guy, the patriarch of this is Eric Estrada, who is right. interesting enough, the first, and as far as I know, only Latin sexiest man alive <laughs> on the he uh -huh. went on way back in nineteen what seventy? Yeah, on TV. Yeah. On TV. Yeah. I think then Antonio Banderas did it. Uh -huh. yeah. But on TV they don't give the Latins mm -hmm. that kind of a role. Even though if they do give it that kind of a role, it's as a as a spoof. Right. You know, they spoof it. We're basically and, uh, trying to create a formula similar to what they have in the Fast and Furious which by far is the most successful franchise of any film because mm -hmm. after eight, they're working on the eighth edition. Right. And basically... He's making more money. The, the second yeah. made more money than the first, the third more than the second, and so on and so forth. And that's never happened. Right. The only thing they have prevalent in all the movies is that the lead cast is composed of everything right. under the rainbow. Right. There is an, an ethnic profile that fits for everyone, right. basically. It's, it, it touches all demographics. You have right. the blacks, the whites, the Hispanics, the Asians, right. the Eastern right. Europeans, everything and anything is it's there real. at an important it's level, real. like it's we real. are creating right. here. It's actually, it's, it's, it's real in that you have people that can, you, you, you're, if your cast is just all 
white, mm-hmm. like so many out there are, mm-hmm. um, you're really squeezing out right, such a large population of people the, to yeah. be able to identify. All you have to do is just walk out your door and you yeah. see that this America yeah. is a melting pot. It's right. a mixture of so many people. And exactly. Yet, yet you well, don't really see that on TV or film like that. Because the problem with Hollywood is that if you say, if they say okay, we got to make a diverse show. So they said, now what would the black character do? Mm. What would the Latin character do? They said, no, just right. make them just the make character. Them the same right. way you write for you, <coughs> being a Caucasian, write it for him. Right. You know what I mean? Same way you write it for me, write it for you. You know what right. I mean? That's all. Right. If you have a, a white girl dating a black guy, cool. If a Latin girl dating an Asian guy, cool. Why, what, right. what difference does it make? Because right. in the United the only reason it makes a difference is because people's heads are still stuck in mm-hmm. what they think. Right. Well, I had no, please. Sorry. You know, the incredible thing is that when you look at the numbers, two thirds of the people going to uh, the movies are Latinos. Mm-hmm. Two thirds of the tickets are bought by one ethnic group that is non existent, basically, right. in 99% of the films. Yeah. Right. That's yeah, crazy. 2%. Yeah. Two like percent. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But people, I think, in America have been programmed to think that way because they've been so indoctrinated with watching these shows. Like, I tell people about Sanjay Negri, they go, oh, cool. Is it like all in Spanish? They don't speak Spanish. I go, no, it's an, um, yeah. it's an everyday American show, no different than what you would see on Empire, what you would see right. in Breaking Bad. Yeah. What you see, it's, oh, okay. So, what do they do? I go, they do what everybody does. <laughs> One brother's a lawyer. <laughs> right. I'm a cop. One brother's a gangster or a bad guy. So, what's the. It's like every every other show you're going to see. There's nothing different. Right. Well, then why call us Sandy Negra? Because we are a Latin family. We just happen to be a prominent American Latin family, right. and the right. name works. But we're here to show you that we're just like every other right. show. Right. right. But people they, they still haven't quite grasped it yet, but they slowly are. But when they see it, they're like, oh, yeah, they, they get yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, things this. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they don't think they can relate, but then they go, oh, yeah. I can relate. Yeah. There's a. Uh, Marriage, there's a divorce, there's right. raising kids, they're trying to do this, or to avoid right. or to go to court, we get it. Because you know? it's, it's it, all of it is, it's human. Right. It's, exactly. it's life. Yeah. It's what we all go through. Yeah. And that part of it's but not We get hung up on the, the labels. The differences. Label people. Yeah. Differences. And, yeah. yeah, exactly. So that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the main part of the driving force, you mm-hmm. know. Um, and ideally also because... Like, I do play a gangster, now that is one stereotype, supposedly, but the difference is, I'm not playing a, a street gangster, I'm not playing a thug guy, I'm playing a, right. a guy who's actually, is pretty complicated. It's quite, quite brilliant, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. I was just going to say, yeah. it He's sounds like yeah, yeah. really smart. And I'm trying to, like, yeah. take a different level, taking everything to a different level. Right. Of course, there he's going to try and stop it, but... He has to realize that it's not going to be easy. It's not like sending somebody else just to catch somebody. Right. It's not a typical thing. Right. So again, just not being typical. Right. And he's not a typical lawyer either. You know, he's he's got his own problems. <laughs> <laughs> his own quirks. Yeah, you know. There's yeah. a very human quality to the show. Yeah. I mean, every, everybody from from uh, us having loving parents to uh, our my our mom not liking him, so he's got issues with that. I mean, the people. People, there's many ways to relate to this. Sure. You know, um, yeah. It's Conflict makes interest. It's a typical conflict. problem that you normally see being placed among the regular, you know, Caucasian, middle, you know, mm-hmm. middle or oh, wow. upper class, basically. Mm-hmm. But here it's it's pretty much in every ethnic group you right. know, that, that is connected to the show and to the audience because we have pretty much for every ethnic group that is out there in the demographics. Yeah, it's not That's what Latin. makes us yeah. a broad... It's not, we give it a Latin flavor, yet sure. our lead cast is composed of pretty much all the cultures. Yeah. The, yeah. the, 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 the guy who plays the police chief is um, Indian, East Indian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, Omar. That's, that yeah. hasn't been done for a while. And then we have an Asian girl in the reporter, and then we have... Uh, it's a nice and, and yeah. It's, it's it wasn't nice. pretty much... A lot of it's not deliberate. Which is really smart, though. It's not, yeah, it's not deliberate either. It's just People can identify. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You, you, know? you expand your, your demographics exactly. as you cover all the... Pretty much all the colors, so yeah. to speak. And the feedback has been tremendous. I mean, we're not just sitting here shooting this in our backyard and going, oh, we hope, and th- we're going to make a statement. No, the statement has been made. Right. We've been working on this for two years. Right. We started out small. And it's become this whole other amazing 
entity where right. we're like, oh God, we got it. It's a web series. No, now it's not a web series. Now it's a half hour show. No, now it's not. It's going to be an hour long. We have talent. We have um, great people who are performing wonderfully. Let's edit together. We had a great premiere, what, three weeks ago? Yeah. yeah. We had like 300 plus, 400 people. Oh, sure. 500. 500. 500. 500. I've been talking before. We're turned away. Yeah. Yeah. What do I know? Yeah. And look at that. And, and the response has been remarkable. People are loving the show. We had Channel 7 show up and do an interview on us. And we're on, right. here we are on Channel 7. I, it's taken on its own and energy. Right. Yeah. And all we're doing now is just riding the wave and just continue what we're doing and right. knowing that pretty soon this is going to be on, on TV for everyone to see and appreciate. Yeah. We just know it. So tell me about that. I mean, tell me a little bit about create, tell me about being on set and tell me about what that was like working with each other, working with the cast, working with a fairly large cast. Yeah. I mean, it's not Very just nice. a few people. We're talking about a, a family here that's... Yeah. So yeah, we started, about, two years ago. We started yeah, almost two almost two years ago. November of November two thousand thirteen. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. And I met you guys in August of twenty thirteen. Yeah, yeah. 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 Was, uh, Interesting August audition. September. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, how's I that? Tell you how his character came. Well, originally um when we created it, um he was already in as the oldest brother, and I was in as the middle brother. Sure. Then I have another friend, I don't know if you know who Matt Sedania was anyway, he was in Devious Maids, the soap opera actor, good looking dude, very, he's in a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And Loco. Yeah, he does that. Uh, yeah, he did that, he was the El Coyo Loco guy. Anyway, he was originally to play, originally going to play Christian, and he, um, he dropped out. So then he said, well, that's all. He's, he's, he's got a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, you know, so. so I, um, I have another friend that was in Chicago who told me about this. Danny, you got to meet this guy, Danny Roy. <laughs> yeah. I said, yeah, really? Yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah. He said, no, I just think of it. And for some reason, I mean, he told me it's a long time ago. Yeah. And for some reason, that registered in my mind because I had IMDb'd him like everybody else does. Right. And I said, well, this, he might work. So we called him in. Of course, he was. You were in the Dominican Republic. I was in the Dominican Republic. That's where my parents retired, and that's where yeah. they lived. So I was there for like two weeks, and then I loved that I stayed two more weeks. I wanted to stay for like six weeks there yeah. just to yeah. decompress yeah. or whatever. And that's when I first talked yeah. to Tony on yeah. the phone. So then yeah. uh, the director, said, we got to have these auditions. I said, okay, well, do it. Take your chances, you know. But so we, and you were there at those auditions, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we saw a few well, people. Yeah. A couple were good, but none of them quite. They didn't quite get something about it wasn't perfect. So I said, "Well, let's wait till Danny comes back and give him a shot." And as soon as he came in, it worked. I said, yeah, well, this guy's the guy. You just knew. Yeah. Sometimes it works out that way. I wish it was like that throughout my career, seriously, yeah. because <laughs> right. there's been so many auditions and you're so close and stuff. Or you know, so yeah. sometimes it's meant to be. Not nothing but grateful to be a part of this. Great guys, you know. And you know what makes a big difference in what we're doing? That for the first time, a TV series that's going for the full season, basically, we got 12 episodes pretty much written out. We are not suits. We are not executives. Right. We're not right. people just making decisions. Right. We're on the field. We're yeah. basically so exactly doing right. what we're casting for. Right. You know? So when you are an actor, when you're active in your craft, and you're trying to look for somebody within your craft to do something else, you look at the person with a completely different prism, right. completely different, you yeah. know, which is more sympathetic, which is more understanding, which is more detail oriented, mm -hmm. rather than a, than you know an executive that is just thinking, well, he's a little darker skin, he's not white and blue eyes, you know, right. nice, you know, right, that sort of thing. It's like what? You don't have a you're name. not even looking at the craft, you're not even seeing how good they. Yeah. No, no, we right. need a blonde guy here. Yeah. You know, bring the next. It's like, wait a second. Let's allow talent to flow through rather than just looks here. Right. You know? right. That's what we're trying to achieve. We're trying to complete a very talented circle of people mm -hmm. who join in as a family to create a project. Right. And other actors noticed that we just finished the audition day for like three hours. Yeah. And came here, all of them came out and said, oh, this is the best audition we've ever been to. Whether they got it or not, they just were really... Because we right. keep it friendly, we yeah. keep it, we understand, you're nervous, yeah. so we understand, you may mess up a line, it's okay, you right. know what I'm saying? Just, and we want to make it comfortable. We want to feel like a lot of pressure. And that's why yeah. most of them did a really great job. Yeah. There was very few that were like, weren't sure, yeah. but 
So this was for upcoming. Yeah, actually, we cast our new roles. Yeah. yeah. A couple of new roles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So 